Hi there, it's Tiffany from Daisy Farm Crafts and today I want to show you how I made these little soap scrubby pockets for my friend, dear friend and neighbor Amber who makes her own goat milk soap. Her Etsy shop is called The Spotless Barn and oh how I wish you could smell these, how wonderful her soap is. I love to buy these and give them as gifts and I actually, in order to make the soap last a lot longer in the shower, um, I've made these little soap pockets, I like to call them, out of Red Heart Scrubby Stripes yarn. And I've made these and we use them in the shower and it's like a washcloth and soap pocket all in one. So it's super handy to have. And I love to give these as gifts and I think it makes Amber's soap just look so beautiful. This is Desert Poppy, and then she's made once um, for me as a request. I had her make me some daisy, and oh my gosh, they just smell beautiful. So anyway, let's get started on how I make this simple soap pocket. All right, we are going to begin with 12 chains, and I should mention that I am using a five millimeter hook which is the recommended size on the side of the package. So let's make 12 chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. All right, now if you can look, I know there's little fuzzies, not really fuzzies, but one, two, three. We're going to begin in the third chain from the hook and work two double crochets into that chain space. Now let's work one double crochet into each of the next eight chains. And hopefully that will leave us with one extra at the end of the row. So here's one. Here's eight. Okay, now we have one chain left and we will work three double crochets. This actually is going to create the side of the soap pocket. So work around the end. There's that starting tail. Okay, there's our third double crochet. Now, to make it easy on ourselves, so we don't have to weave this end in, go ahead and crochet over this, the starting tail. Also, so you have your chain that has the three double crochet in it, like that. So come over here to the space in between the double crochets. So this would be that eighth one that we made, and here's the three going around the end. Insert your hook in between those double crochet and bring it up over here on the other side underneath that starting tail so we can bring that along with us. And it kind of makes those double crochet stand up on the end. And now let's work in between. So there was one, this is number two, we're working in between the double crochets. Much easier to find our space. Here's three. Four, five, six, I should say we're going to do nine of these. This is number eight. And the ninth one lands us right before those skipped two chains 
Do you remember in the very first, we started with skipping two chains and then we worked two more double crochets? I want you to go ahead, we'll cut this tail off later. We're good with that now. I want you to yarn over and insert your hook. It's really hard to see, so just feel for it. In between those turning chains and that very first double crochet that you made, go ahead and work double crochet. And that will start our sides. Now this is all you have to do now is work into the next space between those two double crochets with double crochet and come around and work in between every double crochet. And we'll just go around and around. We don't have to join rounds. We just will work around for a total of seven rounds. So this is the start of the second round. And I'm just inserting my hook in between those double crochets, making it really easy on myself. Plus, we liked that, well, one thing we really liked about this scrubby yarn is that in the shower, after it got wet, it dried really quick, fairly quickly. But also, we like to have a little bit of space around here so that um, there was more air getting to, um, to dry. Okay, so here I am at those one, the three that made up. Just work in between those double crochets. Don't add any extra because you're trying to pull it together. It will naturally pull together and start forming a little pocket. So we're not adding any more stitches. The only time we increased was on the either end of the starting chain. Okay, well, I'm gonna just keep working around and around and I'll show you how to tie off. Okay, so here I am. I've got about seven rounds and I just count Here's our, here's our starting chain, you know, at the very bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But mainly is I just started, you know, slipping the soap in. I didn't want to cover this beautiful portion of her soap, so I made it to come just about right there. So if it's six rounds, stop at six rounds. It's completely up to you. But anyway, once I finish, I go ahead and I like to end at the at an end, either end. I just slip stitch to the next stitch. I will chain and then pull this really tight and then go ahead, grab a tapestry needle or anything with a large eye and work this yarn through the eye. Pull it through, ah, there we go. And I just simply Kind of work it. I kind of like to knot it too. Right there, knot it, and then I'll weave it through. It really just go back and forth a couple times. It's going to stick to itself because it's so, because of the scrubbies. And then I'll maybe do one more. Get it through here. Oh, and I probably should, since it's the light color. Be weaving it through the light but whatever you know when it's huh, make yours so anyway we can clip off this one that we crocheted over get this this one is called desert poppy and i keep seeing these are the little poppy seeds that are in the soap so it's so beautiful this is like rock salt and, oh i wish i could have you smell it it smells so amazing but anyway, I slip the little um, beautiful soap into the soap pocket and I've got a really great gift for a friend. So anyway, I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Super, super easy and cute. And I'll leave links if you're only seeing this on our YouTube channel. I'll leave the link to my friend Amber's um, Etsy shop. She just does a beautiful job. Follow her on Instagram as well. She'll show up in her stories how she cuts the soap and makes the soap and they are just beautiful little works of art. So 
Anyway, and here's the daisy one. Okay, thanks so much. We'll see you next time.